Hi, my name's Jim Rockcliffe and I run more takes and this is just a little, uh, little video that I've thought about as I'm here uh, PVA bagging in the winter. Now the first thing you should do is get your PVA tube and just cut off two or three inches and put it in the water right next to you because in the winter it takes a lot longer to break down and it'll give you some idea as to what's going on out there when you've got a sack full of bait. I've got some which I've taken a still photo of that. It's been out there for about probably 10 minutes and it's going but in the summer of course that would just take 30 seconds or a minute. So anyway this is what I do with a PVA bag with frozen bait. You can see it's uh, come out of my freezer because there's a piece of ice. So um, I put a handful of bait in there if you saw me do that these days but there you go I put quite a lot of bait out even though it's winter the fish are moving about and the next thing I do is to pour in because that bait is uh, it's got water on it um, you want to make it PVA friendly so basically I get and this particular one is uh, fruit and nut hydrocore uh, which is what I'm using at the moment and I basically pour in let's just see if you can see that quite a bit um, so that it's dripping out the bottom and then basically so that's that's you know that sort of covered most of the bait um, so you push your bait down there I mean you could use a stick which I've got here I just can't be bothered and then I talking about being prepared I just get a so I pull it down that far there and just get a pair of scissors and snip it off. I don't worry about tying a knot because speed is of the essence. And then I would just simply hook straight through there, through that top piece and flick it out. I'm not casting miles. If you were, it might be worth tying a knot, but there you go, that's staying perfectly okay at the moment. And um, what more can I say? Well, there you go. The other thing is that you should see the videos on uh, hydrocorn what it's doing but um, I would usually hook that up straight away but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to show you what rig I'm using anyway there you go I'll chuck it in bit more bait for hopefully feeding fish thanks a lot hope that's been of some use bye